Actually, may ginawa akong video, no? Kanina, natawa ako sa ginawa ko. Mga ano sila, mga pangungusap na walang paksa. Sinabi ko kanina, di ba? Mga pangungusap na walang paksa. P S P E. P for phenomenal. Umuulan kanina, umaaraw kahapon, di ba? S for sambitla. Wow, di ba? Yun yun. P for pambating panlipunan. Good morning, magandang umaga, magandang hapon. Tapos E for existential ay ano yun? Um, mayroon o wala. O, yung example ko, mayroon ka ngang trabaho, wala ka namang jowa. Pero kayo dito nanonood, ay, mayroon nga kayong jowa, wala naman kayong lisensya. <laughs> okay. Well, um, ayan, lumalabas yun sa board examination actually. Salient yun. Dapat yung puntandaan. Filipino, um, gen ed yun. Okay, sige. So let's start guys na. No? Ayan, I'm 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 taking too much time sa kakadaldal. Well, it's now 12:47. Okay. So first item tayo, I will just hide my text. Okay. Okay, professional education set B drills kasi tapos na tayo sa set A, di ba? So, professional education. To answer professional education questions, you have to remember four techniques. Number one, the best clue to the best answer is on the stem of the question. Read the question twice. Number two, add one out. Kapag hindi mo alam yung katanungan, hindi mo alam yung uh, punto niya, ang gagawin mo, look at the choices, tingnan mo yung hindi talaga siya congruent sa ibang choices or naiiba siya, siya yung sagot. Ang pangatlo naman po is study smart. Okay? Study wise. Huwag ka mag-study hard dahil hindi mo kaya lahat, no? And then, ang panghuli po ay ang contextual clues. Pinakamahalaga to. You make use of the contextual clues introduced by Grace Goodell. That's how to answer professional education questions. Okay? Number one. Number one. Okay. Okay. The distribution will most likely be blank if a class is composed of brilliant students. This is a question of what? Skewness or curtuses? Sige nga, tingnan natin. Is this a question of skewness or curtuses? Okay, try to answer. Okay, actually this is a question about skewness. And when you talk about skewness, may dalawa yan. May dalawa yan, positive and negatively skewed. Pag sinasabi natin positively skewed, positive, skewed to the right. Okay? Skewed to the right. Ibig sabihin, ang mga bata dyan, mga bobo. Ang mga bata dyan, hindi matalino. Ang mga bata dyan, tamad. Ang teacher dyan, tamad. Ang teacher dyan, hindi marunong magturo. Or sadyang mahirap ang test. Skewed to the right, positively skewed. What about for skewed to the left? Skewed to the left. Kapag skewed to the left po, ang tatandaan mo dyan, left, left, negatively skewed. Magaling ang estudyante, brilliant ang estudyante, sila ay magagaling magsagot, ang teacher magaling magturo, matataas ang score, or mas madali lang po talaga yung test na inansiran nila. That's skewed to the left. Okay? What is platycortic, sir? Platycortic is a cortosis distribution. What do you mean by platy? Plat. Plot. Ibig sabihin ng scores, kalat, scattered, far from each other, no? Far from each other siya. That's platy. Very normal is mesocortic. Mesocortic. Ibig sabihin, may kaunting mababa, may kaunting mataas, at most of them ay normal or average. That's very normal. Another one is the um, leptocortic. Ang leptocortic naman, iisa lang yung score. Halos lahat average, no? Yun. Malinaw po ba? Sige. Hi, sir. Hope you are doing well. Yeah, um, I'm not doing well. Actually, I have colds. But this will not stop us from helping you. Okay? Uh, so, malinaw po ba itong item na to? Ulitin ko po. Pag skewed to the left, negatively skewed. Pag skewed to the right, positively skewed. Pag positive, maganda hindi. O, di ba? Maganda pakinggan kapag positive. Pero imaginein mo na lang, positive ka sa, hala, o alam mo na, So, kapag positive ka sa sakit na yon hindi ka po magaling. So, ibig sabihin, kapag positive, skewed, 
bobo, hindi magaling, ang estudyante, at mahirap lang po talaga yung test. Pero kapag brilliant students, expected na skewed to the left, ibig sabihin, magagaling negatively skewed siya. Malinaw po ba? Kapag flat, platicortic. Kapag normal, mesocortic. Kapag iisa lang yung scores, leptocortic. Listen to those things that I am telling you. Do not focus on the question only. You focus on what I'm saying dahil yun yung pinakamahahalaga. Next. I tell you, during the board examination, if you listen to me very carefully, you will hear my voice when you answer. And if my voice is not that clear, you close your eyes and you will hear me clearly. I will be with you during the board examination day. During your answering time, I will be there. Next. <sighs> Principal Jen wants her teachers to be constructivist. When you say constructivist, ano ibig sabihin dyan? Ang mga bata gumagawa. Next. In their teaching orientation, which one should the teachers avoid? Ano daw ang pinaka hindi dapat gawin ng mga teachers? Eto, ano nga ang clue ang meron ako kapag sumasagot ng board examination, Prof. Ed? Use the stem of the question because from there, it's the, it's the, um, if it, it's the only way you can find the best clue to the best answer. Okay? So, A, student's reflection. B, rote memorization and facts. Learn C, inquiry of students. Learn D, self-directed learning. Ganito yan. Listen to me, teachers. Kapag constructivist ka, construct, from the word construct, are you are you making something? Are you building up something? Are you synthesizing? Yes, gumagawa ka. Pero kapag nag-memorize ka lang, remembering lang yan. Knowledge lang yan. You are not constructing. Ano sabi ko? Kapag hindi maiintindihan ang tanong, go to the choices. Add one out ang ating clue dyan. Add one out. Student's reflection. Student's reflection. Oh, si estudyante gumagawa siya, nagre-reflect siya. Ibig sabihin, gumagawa siya ng mga natutunan niya. Inquiry of the students. Yes, when you inquire, what are you doing? You are asking questions. That means you're constructing. Next, self-directed. Kapag self-directed learning, ibig sabihin, ang bata mismo ang gumahanap ng paraan para matuto siya. Is it constructivist? Yes, the children is trying to identify who he is and what he can do. Self-directed learning yon. Now, rote memorization of facts. According to um, Nino, according to Bloom's Taxonomy and Anderson's, it's just knowledge or it's just remembering. Board exam question, it is the foundation of all knowledge. I mean, it is the foundation of all learning. Knowledge, ang sagot. Listen to me, look at my mouth, okay? Next item. So, sagot dito, letter B, letter B. Oh, may naligaw. Anong ayos ng pantig ang ginagamit sa salitang daigdig? Lumalabas dito sa board examination is heographia. Heographia. Okay, so, ayan. Sige, tingnan natin kung sino makakasagot dito. Okay, let's wait for, for, for some people to answer. Tingnan natin. Sagot, sagot. Sige, tingnan natin. Madali lang yan. Pinakamadali yan. Pag hindi mo yan nasagot, sambalin mo. Sari mo, sabihin, hindi ka na talaga nag-aaral, teacher. Okay, sige, tingnan natin. Okay, ah, letter A daw. Sige, ganito, daigdig, letter D. Katinig, patinig. Katinig. And then, letter A, patinig, P. Letter I, ganun lang yun. I, patinig, G, katinig, D, katinig, I, katin, patinig, K, um, katinig, Okay. G, katinig. So, that's letter A, no? Actually, ang lumalabas sa board examination dyan, heographia. Again, ang lumalabas sa board exam, hero, heographia. Ano daw ang um, pagkaka uh, tamang salin dyan, no? Heographia. Oh. Kayo na po bahala. At least alam nyo na po yung technique, di ba? Katinig, patinig lang yan. Next item. Reader was asked to fill in words to the sentences that are found inside a box below. Which of the following queuing systems did a reader fall to consider? Tingnan mo po ang, okay, ang magagamit nating technique dito, the best clue to the best answer is on the stem. Bakit? Anong sabi dyan? 
fill in words to the sentences. Again, anong clue word? Fill in words to the sentences. I, I will repeat. I hope malinaw, teachers. Malinaw ba? Okay, I will repeat. Ah. Kasi gusto ko talaga tong bigyan ng emphasis eh. Okay, wait for a while. Tada! I am making use of the underline uh, function. Ayan. Sentences. Now, look at the choices. Grapho, graphophonic, ibig sabihin mga tunog. Syntactic. Kapag sinasabi natin syntax, ano ibig sabihin dyan? Sentence. Okay, structure sentence. Pag sinasabi natin semantic, pag sinasabi natin semantic, meanings. Pag sinasabi natin pragmatics, use. Malina ba, teachers? Malina ba? Again, what's our clue word for this one? Sentence. Napakahaba ng katanungan. May clue word yan. Sentence. Sentence. Ano ba sentence? Structure. Syntactic. Syntactic. Diba? Syntactic. Sumunod sa syntactic, semantic. Ano ba semantic? Meanings. Okay? Meanings. Pag pragmatics naman, use. Ginagamit mong salita sa tamang pamamaraan. Malinaw, teachers? Malinaw? I hope na malinaw to ha? Kasi napakaganda po ng katanungan na to. Actually, uh, isa to sa mga powerful questions na kapag nasasagot mo dahil alam mo yung paano kung paraan, kung anong gawin kapag may magaganitong questions na may, may clue naman talaga sa, sa ating um, STEM. Okay? So, at I hope na maganda ang um, dinig nyo rito. Next. A quiz is classified as blank test. Ah, eto, may sumagot dito, summative daw. O, sige. I would want to listen to you. Tingnan natin yung mga natutunan nyo sa akin. If you were able to listen to me very carefully in my previous discussion, I would want you to tell me the correct answer for this item. Please do it now. Okay, tingnan natin. Wait. Okay. Again, quiz. Ang tinatanong dyan, quiz. Okay. Ano ba ang quiz? Is it summative? Is it formative? Is it a standardized test? Is it an aptitude test? Okay. Tell me. Actually, this is all about the characteristics of a good test. No? So, nagbibigay po tayo ng mga types of test sa mga bata at atin niyang um, inilalagay sa tamang lalagyan. Ano po ba? Paano po ba siya ilalagay sa tamang lalagyan? Ganito lang yan. Alam natin na meron tayong as of at for. Ang quiz, saan ba siya nabibilang? Okay? So that's the question here. So let's talk about the choices. Summative, as of for. Obviously, it's of. Bakit? Nag-summarize ka na eh. Unit test na to eh. Periodical test na to eh. Kapatid niya yun. Of. So punta tayo, formative. Formative. Formative from the word for, that means for assessment, for learning. Okay? Ibig sabihin, before instruction. Ibig sabihin, during instruction. That's formative. Next, standardized. Ang mga standardized tests, kagaya ng NAT, National Achievement Test, RAT, Regional Achievement Test, LET, Licensure Examination for Teachers. Ano yan? Standardized. Assessment of... Assessment of yan. Aptitude naman po, kapag sinasabi natin aptitude, ganito yan. Si Sir Melvin, tinitingnan mo po ako. Sabi mo, magaling ka ba sa mathematics? Ang sabi ko naman, yes, magaling ako sa math. Ang ginawa mo, binigyan mo ako ng test na mathematics. Ang tawag dyan, aptitude test. Therefore, when you talk about aptitude test, you are only talking about measuring a certain knowledge in a specific skill. Okay? You measure the knowledge of the child in a specific subject or skill. Okay? That's aptitude test. Now, based on what I'm talking about, saan dyan ang sagot? Imposible, hindi mo alam. Ang sagot ang iba dito, summative. No, it's not summative. Ang correct answer dito is quiz. Quiz. Again, pag sinasabi natin um, um, as personal no personal something personal pag of naman tapos ka na magturo kapag for naman hindi ka pa tapos magturo nagtuturo ka pa or hindi ka pa nagsisimulang magturo that's for what is of ang of ang lumalabas sa board exam diyan sasabihin ko na it is the integral part of the teaching and learning process 
Okay? That's of learning. Malinaw. O, sige, drill natin. Summative. Of for us. Uh, formative. Formative. For learning. What about for standardized test? Of learning. What about for aptitude test? As learning. What about for diagnostic examination? For learning. What about for si teacher nagbibigay ng rubric para i-assess niya yung sarili niya? As learning. What about for periodical tests? Of learning. What about for let? Of learning. What about for unit test? Of learning. What about for placement examination? For learning. What about for pretest? For learning. Okay? Marina, Vincent. Okay? So, malina ba? Oh, malina pa sa sikat ng araw, di ba? Oh, kapag natutunawan po kayo, bigyan niyo po ako ng thumbs up, no? Ayan. So, napaka... Hindi po ako makahinga dahil sa sipon. Okay. So, give me a thumbs up naman dyan. Ayan. Ayaw po, teachers, sasabihin ko po sa inyo, kapag nagkakamali po kayo, do not worry. Do not hesitate to commit mistakes. Because from your mistakes, you will learn. From your mistakes, there is a chance that you will never repeat that again. Okay? So, tandaan nyo po yan. Huwag na huwag kang mag, uh, atubiling magkamali. It's okay to commit mistakes, but not in the board examination na po. Okay? So, let me just do an announcement. Meron tayong final coaching. If you wish to join... You will learn a lot from me. I will give you the confidence that you need during the board examination. And that will happen on September 18 to 19. Message me on Facebook, Melvin Boracho or Melvin Osabel Boracho. If you wish to join, message me and you will not regret, of course. Uh, I will give you everything that you need to, to know. Okay? So, proceed tayo, na? So, malinaw na ba to? Ay, huwag niyo po sabihin na hindi ito malinaw, di ba? Kasi alam naman natin na review na lang to. So, a quiz is, a, is an example of formative assessment. Now, let's go to um, the most stable measure of variability. Anong tanong? Variability. So, sasagot ka ba dyan ng, okay, sasagot ka ba dyan ng mean, median, and mode? Sasagot ka ba dyan ng mean, median, and mode? Hindi ka sasagot ng mean, median, and mode. Bakit? Ang mean, median, and mode ay measures of central tendency. O, oh, ano bang clue ang, ang, ang gusto kong ipahiwating sa inyo? Pili. The best clue to the best answer is on the stem. Add one out. Add one out. Or, um, ano yan? Context clues. O, oh, sige, tatlo lang. Sige nga. Which do you think works best? Teka lang po Okay, add one out. If you selected add one out, then you are correct. Why? Sino bang naiiba dyan? Mean. What is a mean? Is it a measure of variability? No. It's a measure of central tendency. Mode, the same. Median, the same. So which is which? Standard deviation. Standard deviation is the most stable. Okay? I will discuss one by one. Kapag sinasabi nating mean, ah, sige, mag, ma, kasi um, kasali na to eh. Uh, meron to sa major ship, meron to sa gen ed, meron to sa proof ed. So, I will discuss na lang po para hindi po kayo uh, mahihirapan. Iisa-isahin ko yung clue word nila. Okay? So, isulat mo dyan kung merong ballpen at lapis ka. So, ganito yan. Most reliable. Ano ba si mean? Siya po ay most reliable. Okay? Ito yung mga clue word na dapat mong tandaan sa kanya. Ha? Si Min po ay most reliable. Si Min po ay average. Average. Si Min po ay, um, ang tawag dyan? Si Min po ay easily affected. no? Easily siya. Wait for a while. Ha? Easily affected. By, by what? By extreme scores. By extreme scores. Those are the things that you should remember about the mean. Tandaan nyo po ito. Again, pag sinasabi nating most reliable, mean. Pag sinasabi nating average, mean. Pag sinasabi nating easily affected by extreme scores, mean. Okay? So, let's go to 
the mode. Kapag sinasabi nating mode teachers, ang tatandaan nyo lang dyan is most appearing. Okay? Most appearing or frequently appearing. Ganun lang yun. Again, pag sinasabi nating mode, frequently appearing. Okay? So, ganito yan. Meron tayong unimodal, meron tayong bimodal, at meron din tayong multi or trimodal. Okay? So, now, I will drill here. No? Tingnan natin ang alam ninyo sa mode. Again, tingnan natin ang alam ninyo sa mode. Kapag meron kang score, kapag meron kang scores na 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, Ilan ang mode? Comment on the chat box. Ilan ang mode? Let's see how master are you on the measures of central tendency. Ilan ang mode sa raw scores na 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1? Tell me. Ilan ang mode? Go, go, go! Sasabihin ko yung sagot ngayon na ngayon na. Kapag ikaw po ay nakatama, I will appreciate you. Ibig sabihin magaling ka. Okay, I'm seeing people who are answering. Sabi ni Sir Michael, wala. Sabi ni Ma'am Grace, one. Sige, tingnan natin. Sino bang tama dito? Pang top notch na tanong to. Ibig sabihin, master na ang topics, di ba? Sige. Oh, si Ma'am Marites, sabi niya, one din. Again, ang tanong, ilan ang mode? Anong definition natin sa mode? Frequently appearing. Sige. O yung iba, there are 13 people who are watching. What are you doing guys? What are you guys doing? Please comment na. Mag-participate mo kayo. The problem in the classroom, that's why there is no learning for the students because they are not participating. The same applies here. Tatlo, dalawa lang mag-participate. Sila yung papasa, di ba? Oh. Sabi ni Ma Marivic, 7 ang mode. Sige. So, I now see, I now saw, I must have seen this long before, no? Actually, guys, hindi na po talaga dapat itong nagkakamali kayo kasi kapag pinapanood nyo po ang mga videos ko, lagi ko po itong pinapaliwanag. Ano po nangyari? Uh, uh, hindi nyo po pinapanood ang mga video ko ano or na nanunood kayo pero um, pinapalagpas lang or just you just listen, familiarizing them. No, you must be objective on this one guys. Okay, I will discuss. Listen to me ha, mali po ang mga sagot na nakakarami. I will tell you, mali ang sagot ninyo. So please listen to me. Anong sabi ko kanina? Frequently appearing. Okay. Tandaan nyo po. Ganito yan. Tandaan nyo po. Kapag measure, kapag measures of central tendency, central tendency, ang tatandaan nyo dyan, norm yan. Norm. Norm. Ibig sabihin, dapat ikumpara sa ibang scores. Again, pag sinasabi natin measures of central tendency, ano yan? Norm reference test. Punta tayo kay mode. Anong sabi ko kanina sa definition kay mode? Most appearing or frequently. No? Frequently appearing. Ngayon, sa binigay ko na examples, one, 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 one. May frequently appearing ba dyan? Wala. Bakit? ba diba sinabi ko na norm? Kapag norm, ikukumpara ka sa iba at kung meron mang ibang score, ibig sabihin, ikaw ang frequently appearing kapag marami kayo. O sige, yung mga nagsabi na isa, may one mode, edi gawin natin to. Paano ba to gawing um, merong isang mode? O sige, ganito yan. Lagyan natin yan ng 2. Okay. Ang many mode? 1. Bakit? What is the number frequently appearing? 1. There is only one mode. Now, sir, ano ba gawing bimodal yan? O sige, ganito yan. Gawin natin tong bimodal. Okay. 1, 1, 2, 2, and then 3. How many modes? 
two. What are the modes? One and two. Bakit sila nagiging mode? Frequently appearing kasi sila. Sir, paano gawin yung um, trimodal? O ganito yan. One, one, two, two. Lagyan natin ng three. At lagyan natin ng four. Anong mode dyan? Anong mode? Three. Okay. Sino? Si one, si two, si three. Mode sila dahil frequently appearing sila. Now, I will make this one. Charan, question. Question. Ano ang mode rito? Ilan ang mode? Ilan ang mode? Frequently appearing. Ilan ang mode? One. Bakit? Oh, most frequently appearing si 3, 3, 3. Ibig sabihin, frequently appearing si 3, how many times? One. Okay? So, unimodal to. I hope that malino. Madali lang po talaga ito kapag um, tayo po ay nakikinig. Okay? Um, teachers, please, please, please. No? Maraming bumabagsak hindi dahil um, hindi nila alam ang pag-aaralan. Maraming bumabagsak dahil hindi nila sineseryuso ang kanilang pag-aaral. Punta tayo kay Median. Punta tayo kay Median. Si Median naman po, most reliable din siya. Hala. Di ba sabi mo kanina, sir, most reliable si Min? Bakit si Median most reliable din siya? Yes, most reliable siya pero kapag may extreme scores. So ganito 'yan. When there are when there are extreme scores. Kung nakikita niyo po kanina, san sinabi ko kay Min, si Min ay most reliable pero easily affected siya sa extreme scores. Okay? So, dahil maaapektuhan si Min agad sa extreme scores, sinong gagamitin si Min? O, ipapaliwanag ko. Okay? Ipapaliwanag ko, teachers. Ganito yan. Ang scores na 1, 2, 3, 4, 1,000. 1,000. May extreme score ba yan? Yes, si 1,000. Extreme siya, masyadong malaki. Kapag ang gagamitin mo, kay Min, ah, si Min ang gagamitin mo, Ang 1, 2, 3, and 4, mahihila siya ni 1,000 kapag kukunin mo yung average. Okay? Pero, kapag gagamitin mo si median dyan, hindi maaapiktuhan si 1,000 kasi si median tinatawag na ano, mid, mid, middle most score. So, alin ba dyan ang pinaka middle na score? 3. Ibig sabihin, kahit 1,000 ang pinakadak malaki dyan, hindi naapiktuhan yung mala, maliliit na score dahil ang kinukuha natin middle score lang. That's for median. How to get the median? First is you arrange the, okay, arrange the numbers. Arrange the raw scores in, arrange in ascending, pwede rin descending. Okay? So kanina, arrange na yon kaya kinuha ko agad yung middle most score. Now, punta tayo kay standard deviation. Kay standard deviation naman, teachers, tatandaan nyo dyan, si far at near lang. Si far at near. Si far at near. Malayo at malapit. Yun yung kay standard deviation. Kapag mataas ang standard deviation, ibig sabihin, far. Kapag ang standard deviation, one, near. The smaller the standard deviation, the nearer the scores are. Okay? Mas maganda ang score kapag malapit sa isa't isa. Kasi kapag kalat, blati, hindi maganda. So, tanong, kapag mataas ang standard deviation, hindi maganda. Far from each other, scattered, heterogeneous. Kapag maliit ang standard deviation, maliit, ibig sabihin near ang score from each other, ang scores ay bunch together, ang scores ay clustered together. So, tandaan mo yan, please. Lumalabas yan sa board. Yung mga nasa bibig ko, ha? Baka magsisisi kayo, teachers. I tell you, kapag hindi mo po kinokopya yung mga lumalabas sa bibig ko, you will regret on the board examination. Huwag niyo pong palalagpasin ang bawat salita ang sinasabi ko rito. Because I'm speaking here based on my experience taking the board. Okay, I hope that malinaw yan, teachers. Are you guys learning? Ayan. For those people, nakakarito pa lang, you can um, tune in here and then you can just um, click the notification and then the subscribe button. For the next time around, you will be notified agad-agad. Okay? And um, announcement on September 18 to 19, 
I will have a final coaching. I will give you everything that you should uh, bring in the examination room for you not to be frightened or for you not to be scared or for you not to be anxious. I will give you everything that you need to bring. Okay? Picnics, board examination, ang mga posibleng uh, gagamitin nila, no? Um, but trial and error, no? Atin yung um, gagawa ng paraan. So, everybody, if you guys are not still joining, you can message me on Facebook, Melvin Buracho, and then um, we'll talk about that. Okay? So, let's uh, proceed, guys. Let's proceed. So, sagot dito, standard deviation. Okay? Standard deviation. Pero bago tayo mag-proceed, i-drill ko nga. I-drill ko nga. Again, sinong most reliable? Mean. Sino naman ang most appearing? Mode. Sino naman ang most reliable when there are extreme scores? Median. Kapag sinasabi natin extreme scores, outliers yan. Okay? Ibig sabihin, malaki. Okay? Sino ang average? Si mean. Si mode, most appearing. Si middle most, si median. At ang tatlong yan, ang tatlong yan ay under kay measures of central tendency. Wait. Ang measures of variability ba? Sino dyan ang nasa kanya? Si standard deviation. Ilan din sila? Tatlo. Meron tayong range. Meron tayong variance. Meron tayong standard deviation. Ano ba si range? Si range po ay ang most crude. Simplest. Highest score minus lowest score, you will get the range. Okay? Repeat that. And then, Si variance square of the standard deviation. And then standard deviation is the most stable. Okay? Mataas ang standard deviation, kalat. Maliit ang standard deviation, of course. Bunch together, clench, to, clench together. Okay? Clustered together. Okay. Measures is also known as measures of dispersion. Oh, di ba? Oh, measures of dispersion. Pag sinasabi natin variable, Marami. Ibig sabihin marami, kalat, disperse. So, Tagalog dyan, gaano ba kakalat ang scores? Next item. Okay. Which of the following, I mean, which is the learning outcome stressed in the dramatic reading along with movements, posture, facial expressions, and others? Which do you think is the correct answer, teacher? Slar A, non-discursive communication. Lar B, competence. Lar C, performance. Lar D, authentic assessment. Tandaan nyo po, teachers, that um, what we're doing here is not all about the number of items, kung gaano karami yung natapos natin. What we are doing here is defeating each item for you to be prepared answering the items that are alike with the items that we are answering. Kasi ang let, pabalik-balik lang yung punto ng tanong. Okay? Pabalik-balik lang yung technique na dapat mong gamitin. So, I will sharpen you not only in answering quickly, but in answering wisely in order for you not to find it hard finding the correct answer during the board examination. Okay? Dahil mahahaba ang katanungan, kapag hindi mo alam, ay patay tayo dyan. So, let's um, try to answer this one. What does it say? Posture lang. Meron bang voice? Wala. This, non, um, facial expression. Hmm. Actually, VPN at consumable to. No? VPN at consumable. Wait, meron tayong tinatawag dito na um, uh, ang tawag dito? Um, classroom management model. No? Actually, meron si Jacob Kunin dyan. Meron din tayong mga models na tinatawag dyan. Ang, 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 ang lagi nating um, sinasabi dyan, VPN at consumable according to behaviorists. Okay? According to the behaviorists, ganito yan. VPN at consumable lang yan. O, sige, ganito yan. VPN at consumable. Consumable. Okay. Pandaan nyo yan. Sige. So, ano po ba si V? Verbal. May boses ba? Yes. Si P. P. Ha, si P. Kapag si V, verbal, si P naman, physical touch. Kapag si N naman, non-verbal or non-discursive. Kapag si A naman, activity. 
Okay? Kapag si T naman, tokens. Kapag si consumable ay mga food na yan. Okay? So, that's the um, reinforcing techniques. No? So, ngayon. Now, ano po ba ang tinatan tinatanong dito? Facial expression lang, posture lang, movements lang. Anong tawag dyan? Non-discursive. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya nagbibigay ng mga salita bagkos pinapakita lang niya sa mukha. Okay? Mas dan mo makikita sa aking mga mata, di ba? <laughs> yun yun. Buta di ay, di ba? So, pag sinasabi natin competence, wala yan. Performance ay alternative authentic examination yan. And then authentic assessment, performance is one of that one. So, the correct answer for this one is non-discursive. Tama ba? Yes, teachers. Malinaw? Malinaw, basta sikat ng araw. Next item. In the 5S formula, which stands for the cleanliness in the workplace? Oh, sige. Cleanliness daw. Saan dyan? Oh, actually, sort, set, shine. Ah, ganun yan. Sort, set, shine, systematize, sustain. Okay. May action ako dyan. Actually, um, ako ay gumagawa-gawa lang po talaga ng mga actions. Okay? Sige. Ganito yan. Sort. Ano bang ginagawa mo sa sort? Ibig sabihin pa, hanapin mo yung mahalaga you keep it. Hanapin mo yung hindi mahalaga, you throw it. Okay? Sort. Set naman po is lagyan mo ng label. Masakit kapag walang label. Tandaan mo yan, masakit. Next, uh, ano tawag dyan? Shine. Linisin mo. Systematize. I-arrange mo sila. Sustain. Wag lang isang araw lang mo gagawin. Bukas, kalat na naman. That's the five is. This is a Japanese um, concept, no? So what is the correct answer? Cleanliness. Shine, shine. Shine, Jesus, shine. Ganun yun, okay? Malinaw. Again, sort. And then set. And then shine. And then systematize. And then sustain. Okay, gawin nyo! Pag hindi mo gagawin, babugsok ko. Sige. Oh na, number one. What are the five S formula? First is for sort. Sort. Piliin ang mahahalaga. Itapon ang di mahalaga. Set. Sulatan ng labels. Anong gagawin? Shine. Sunod. Linisin. Sunod is systematize. Systematize. Sunod is sustain. Hindi lang dapat isang araw. Dapat forever na yan. Sana all my forever. Di ba? So, ayan, teachers. What's the correct answer for this one? Obviously, it's lar, lar, none other than lar b, lar b. Okay. Again, learn your next item. Uh, which happens when teachers burst into activities without assessing? Oh, ganito yan. Um, Jacob Kunin's um, ano to? Jacob Kunin's classroom management model, no? Teachers movement to. O, sige. Napakadali lang po nito. Um, may isang concept dito na lahat po talaga ng mga nagtitake is nahihirapan or hindi malinaw sa kanila. Okay, atin tong papaliwanag. Letter D. Pag sinasabi natin letter D, ikaw teacher, merong topic. Okay, ako. Ako si Sir Melvin, ang topic ko is lapu-lapu. Topic ko si lapu-lapu, okay? Battle of Mactan. Battle of Mactan. Now, dahil nag-Battle of Mactan, naalala ko nag-away kami ng aking kapatid kahapon. So, dumating ako sa buhay ko, ikinwento ko yung buhay ko. Pagkalipas ng ilang minuto, bumalik agad ako sa topic. Ay, bumalik na naman ako sa buhay ko. Ay, bumalik na naman ako sa topic. Ano nangyari? Flip, flop. Okay? So, umalis ka, bumalik ka, umalis ka, bumalik ka. Ibig sabihin, naghiwalay, nag, nagbalikan, naghiwalay, nagbalikan, naghiwalay, nagbalikan, flip, flop. Antiseptic bouncing naman, ganito yan. Pinapalabas mo ang bata dahil napakaingay na niya. Okay, next, truncation. Actually, ang truncation po, may clue word dyan. May clue word dyan, abruptly, no? Basta nakikita nyo po, again, pag nakikita nyo po ang salitang abruptly, ang sagot dyan, uh, truncation. Ganyan dito kasi yan. Ang truncation ay isang kind of dangol, no? Dangol. Kapag sinasabi natin dangol, ang ibig sabihin dyan, leaves the activity. Leaves the activity. So, ganito yan. Again, pag sinasabi natin dangol, Leaves the activity. Now, sino ba dito ang nagli-leave sa activity? Di ba si Flip Flop nagli-leave din siya pero bumalik siya? Kapag ang tanong, leaves the activity, sagot, dangling. Pero kapag leaves the activity at bumalik siya, Flip Flop. 
kapag leaves the activity abruptly, truncation. Kuha, ulitin ko po, kapag leaves the activity lang, dangle. Kapag leaves the activity abruptly, truncation. Kapag leaves the activity but you went back, flip-flop, malinaw. Kapag pinalabas ang bata, antiseptic bouncing. So, what is the correct answer? Ano ba ang thrust? Kapag hindi ka paahanda, gumamit ka ng thrust. Okay? Baka nabutas, bata ang labas. Okay? So, thrust ang gagamitin. Mag-ibig sabihin, you have to, you have to assess the students para hindi sila um, mabigla. Ibig sabihin, kapag hindi sila ready, thrust. Kapag hindi ka pa ready, ganito na lang. Kapag hindi ka pa ready, gumamit ka ng thrust. Okay? Malinaw? Malinaw, teachers. <laughs> okay? So, this is about... Um, Uh, movement model, no? Meron pa dito ang overdwelling. Si teacher, natapos na ang buong quarter, isang topic lang. That's overdwelling. Kapag overlapping naman, isang activity, pumunta sa isang activity, hala. Tapos, um, overlapping pa siya, ibig sabihin, um, yung ibang subjects, tinatakol na niya, at meron pa tayong tinatawag na uh, maraming ginagawa, no? Multitasker si teacher. Ano pa ba? Um, si teacher, easily Um, ang tawag dyan? Ang tawag dyan? Easily distracted. Ang tawag dyan? <laughs> ah, sige. Oh, easily distracted si teacher. Anong tawag sa teacher's movement models? Kapag si teacher ay disrupted. Madali siyang na-distract. Anong tawag? Oh, sige, use the chat box. I will listen. Okay. Yung may lacking of clear direction, ano po ba ang tawag? Lacking clear direction, that's thrust pa rin. Hindi handa eh, walang direction, di ba? Contextual clues lang po ang gagamitin natin dyan. So, ano po ba ang tawag na si teacher madaling madistract? The teacher is easily distracted. Ayan, si Sir Melvin, crush ako ng teacher. Dumaan ako sa harap niya. Na-distract agad siya. Anong tawag dyan? Easily distracted. Anong tawag kay teacher? Use the chat box. Ay, wala nagpa-participate, ha? Teacher's movement. Is it distracted? Ang tawag? Walang sumasagot. Kap makakasagot, top notcher. Is it distracted si teacher? Ang tawag? Mm, ah, sige. 30 seconds. <laughs> Sabi ni sir Ayan, uh, sumasagot sila Very good, stimulus bounded Ayan. Ano po ba? Bakit tinawag siya yung stimulus? That's according to what? That's according to who? That's according to the behaviorist theories The classical conditioning The classical and the operant no? And the operant Ano po ba sinasaad dyan? Kapag kasi, no, si teacher Ayan, sino ba stimulus? Yung dumaan tapos si teacher naglalaway. O ang tawag dyan, classical. Kapag operant naman, ayan, um, dahil si teacher magaling magturo, ang kapatid ng um, estudyante niyang gwapo pinadaan sa lobby, ayan si teacher, na-distract agad. O that's instrumental conditioning. Malandi talaga si teacher actually. <laughs> okay? So, ayan guys. Um, I hope that you had fun, no? Huh? The teacher goes from one topic to another topic, lacking of clear direction. Oh, that's still trust, no? Walang direction, trust pa rin yan. Okay, so next. Wait, Sir Michael, what is the true context of the question? Kasi kapag sinasabihin nyo pong lack of clear direction, sila po lahat, wala silang direction actually. 
So what do you mean? Like what does the question say? Lacking, uh, ang tanong nyo po is um, generic siya. Ibig sabihin totoo siya sa teacher's movement. So please complete the question. Okay? Next item. Teacher must have eyes. Ay, ito, with itness. So, kay kuan pa rin ito. Kay um, movement, no? Teacher's movement pa rin ito. With itness. Lumabas to number one, di ba? So, this is all about the teacher who has the eyes at her back, no? So, ano po ba ibig sabihin dyan? Kahit nakatalikod ka, nagsusulat ka, you are aware of what the students are doing behind your back. Okay? So, that's with itness. So, saan dyan? Tama sagot. Are able to know what's going on all the time. That's letter B. That's letter B. Si teacher daw, may power kasi yan, di ba? So, one of the powers ni teacher is, alam niya ang nangyayari sa classroom kahit hindi naman siya nakatingin. That's how great teachers were, no? So, that's it. Next item. Wala na po next item, no? So, let me just announce once again, teachers, um, final coaching natin September 18 to 19, and I hope that you will be around, no? So, you message me on Facebook if you want to join, and then I will give you um, the techniques and then the questions that dapat maalam ninyo bago kayo mag-take ng board examination. And I tell you, please review this video and then please listen to every word that I am talking about because those words are most important. It's more important than the question that you are seeing, I tell you. So teachers, please, please, please do not uh, make this um, be overheard. Dapat po, inyong i-focus sa inyong mga sarili. Please po, Wag naman po yung pinapakinggan lang, hindi minimorize, hindi ina-understand, hindi ina-apply. Ganito yan. Lahat po ng mga natutunan nyo rito, i-share nyo po sa inyong mga, mga kaklase. Dahil kapag i-share nyo, there is a large amount, I mean there is a, a high percentage of remembering them according to Edgar Dale. Kasi sabi ni Edgar Dale, kapag ang bagay na narinig mo at isinabi mo sa iba, may tendency na hindi hindi mo na siya makakalimutan. Okay? So that's the technique. Master, listen and then do not just okay, I'm watching the video and after all, hindi ko na po alam ang sinasagot ko kapag nagtatanong. Huwag pong ganun teachers, okay? I hope that you will make ways on how to conquer things that you are weak at. Huwag po yung tinatanggap nyo na lang po na ganun po kayo. Actually, we are all intelligent. It's just that uh, minsan, we fail to listen to people na handang turuan tayo sa lahat ng bagay na alam niya. And I am here to do that. If you just listen to me, lalo na si Ma'am Ivy Anulason, siya po, alam na alam niya na po yung mga tinuturo ko. Bakit? She always listens. Okay? So for those who are new here, just click the notification bell button and the subscribe button. Tell your classmates to be here. Help them. Do not solo this one because, of course, we are here to help you help others pay it forward. Thank you so much. God bless you. And I hope that you will have a nice night ahead. And then study, study, study every day. Please include God, you pray. Give me a thumbs up naman dyan. Goodbye and God bless you. I will edit this one and I will upload this, review this one. The techniques are most important. Goodbye, God bless you and it's one hour.